Every week, you run that wrong, you know? Don't put it in the box and send it coming. You got to do that every week. You got to put her in you ride and read it. You got to be her cathedral. You just, you, you bark at the wrong tree. You need you a gal or a boy that just wants to love you and be good to you and treat you right and go to church and serve God. And ain't so much interested in having enough money to invest in the stock market, just enough to have enough. You know, I thought so many times, we raised our kids, brother Tim. We, they was a lot of times. I remember of a night when they'd be watching television. I'd walk to Junior Food Store and I'd buy five packs of, of M&M. I'd bring them home. They'd all eat it. I ain't saying that to tell you how some make somebody. I didn't really care for M&M's anyway. But I got everybody a pack of m &Ms. I remember Daddy going to the, to the to shopping before Easter. She always made sure that babies had a dress or a pair of pants or a suit before she got us anything. She made sure her kids had shoes. Before she bought her pair of shoes. You know what that is? That's the quality of what Christians really are. And I'll tell you, if our world would get back to work God wants it tonight, we wouldn't have the mess we got today. We wouldn't have the mess. We need some godly women. You know what I was praying for the president's wife of the day? I looked at her. And I'm going to tell you, that woman took that European trip by storm. But you know what I've been praying for her? God made her a homeless woman. I don't know if I can make a homeless church of Christ or what, but God make her homeless woman. Man, when she walked into the rooms, they attracted them little kids. Did you not see that? Did you see them little girls? Jump up and I thought, man, man, if you give somebody that kind of status, that kind of stature in the community, let that woman begin to tell them about Jesus. She can't do that. I tell you, God do a lot of things. He made fish out of money to pay taxes. Don't tell me he can't do it. I like to see some of the young women and the older women in this church. Amen. Hey, begin to take a statue of this community and take a stand for Jesus. Hey, Amen. I can tell you why people came to that funeral home to see Sister Debbie. I can tell you why they did it. Hey, Amen. They knew the statue that she stood for. They knew the life that she lived and the talk that she taught and the, and the night that she spent praying with people and talking about God. Let me tell you something. That's a testimony I want to have when I fold my pen for the final time. I want to be remembered. Remember somebody that was a loss to Jesus and didn't care, didn't care what it cost me. We'll never invest in nothing no greater as the music singers come than the kingdom of God. Invest your time. Invest your ability. I'd rather be the preacher that God called me to be than to be the president of this great United States. I'd rather be a preacher than to be the governor of this great commonwealth. I'd rather be what I am tonight than to be what a lot of people presume to be such a great job and great political and great powerful status in America. Listen, friend, when God gets ready to set this thing in order, I don't want to be a look toward the White House or not. I want to be a look towards the house of God, the salt of the earth, the people that God's depending on tonight to win the laws. Now, you might go home tonight and say, well, you know what? That's some, that's some stout preaching. And I'll tell you what you do. You meet me at a church and show me where I got out of the Bible. Show me where I preached anything that ain't the truth. Amen. And there's much more of it. Children will respect their parents when they raise them in a godly way. When they see that mama walking in a homeless way. Amen. They might not do it right then. And I'll tell you this much. I can tell you one thing. You never said anything about Sister Debbie in front of one of these boys right here. And it been the fist and cut city. Amen. That's just the way it would have been. You said anything about her. I remember one time she and I had a dispute. Keith was just a little old bitty I'm talking about just a little old bitty Of course, he always, his man always was mama's boy. Don't, don't take that long. He wasn't sissy's head, just mama's boy. Me and her, were, we were having a little argument there. I looked around, he got slipped in behind her, double that little fist up. Like he was going to wait in on me about any time. I'm looking around there thinking, hey, buddy. Amen. That's true. You know why? He loved his mama. He respected her. He admired her. Amen. I can tell you something tonight. A mama or daddy wins the admiration of those children. And there'll be a soul winner. There'll be soul winners. If I can't win my own, how can I win yours? Think about that tonight. And if I don't have confidence, people don't, and my own community don't have confidence in me, it wouldn't do me no good to go to Ashland, Kentucky, to preach that revival. 
It wouldn't do me no good to go to Glasgow, Kentucky, to preach that revival, and people in the downtown don't, Merle don't have no confidence in me. Friend, we need to live a life that God is pleased with. Would you stand tonight? Would you stand? God bless you, Mom. Back your heads before these good singers would sing. Father, I thank you for this good day. I lift